Hi everybody, so thank you to attend this uh, new webinar. Just one month ago, uh, during Drupal, we unveiled uh, the new version of Yes, version 5, Dialog Engine 5.1 and Twist 8. So we, great, we had a very uh, great show at Drupal, a uh, very uh, awesome attendance, a lot of visitors. But of course, for some of you who do not have the ability to, uh, to visit us, uh, this webinar is a uh, good opportunity for you to get uh, the best uh, of ES5 and our latest uh, technology. So my name is Frédéric Sanui. I'm uh, responsible for pre-sales and solution manager by Dalim. The webinar, during the webinar, you can ask any question during uh, using the live chat uh, panel. And of course, the webinar is recorded and will be available on, uh, on our website. So the subject, ES5, Dialog Engine 5.1 and Twist 8. And so, let's have a look. So I will switch to my, uh, I will switch to my demo. So first thing is have a design. Uh, today with ES5, you have so much work to customize uh, the home of the brand. So you can really uh, add any backgrounds, manage any logo. Um, very, uh, you can really customize anything. So this is one example for one customer. This is another example for another customer. On my side, I will log in with the user. This user is marketing. This user has a profile, and yes, the profile is driving the user in terms of user uh, rights and permissions. So, first of all, log into the system. As usual, so when you, when I'm logging for the first time in uh, in the, uh, in yes, so I've got multiple inputs uh, available on the left. Yes uh, has five main inputs uh, channels. Uh, FTP or folder, the web, the email, the web uploader, of course, and since the version 4, we introduced the file system connector. This is one way to invite to mirror your production system and to make it available on the web. In the meantime, this file system, because your ES can be hosted on the cloud, uh, is another way to present uh, your, your work to, uh, to share with your content. This is the digital asset management. And in fact, I will start with, uh, with the digital asset management. Here you can find a couple of folders on the left. Each of these folders is in fact one file system, what we, what we call the file system satellite. And so you easily imagine one main office and you can get multiple offices in Europe or worldwide, and you can uh, use ES to accelerate your content. So first thing uh, is, so I will go to this folder, and in fact, if I'm switching back to my desktop there, uh, you can view here exactly, in fact, the mirror of my production. This is the file system connection, so the ability to mirror your production system, okay? So what I will do is uh, I've got a couple of files there and I will ingest using the file system, okay? So I make this, ex this selection and uh, I just have to simply uh, copy paste, uh, copy on my volume. So I've got a lot of files, PDF, uh, office document, uh, JPEG, uh, packaging PDF, and especially this one, which is TIF 550 meg, a 100 megapixel asset, a very big one. And of course, if I'm logging, if I'm going to the uh, yes uh, to a folder yes five webinar, you can see that the monitoring is uh, started. It will process my files, so uh, one by one, I can uh, the files are processed by the system. We get a preview, uh, the ability to extract all the information. And it's not simply, uh, simply a preview, it's much more uh, behind the scene. And so I can use my first JPEG there, available. Okay, uh, the video is also important. And one thing is, which is very important is this view. 
what we call here is this is a smart view of the home. And in fact, as you can see, you have a lot of customization available. Of course, you have a preview of your document. You can get, you can customize any metadata, actions, small button of actions, uh, top menu bar, top top menu icons. Uh, you can of course zoom in, zoom out uh, in your uh, in your folder, and we can do some uh, much more things. I'm just waiting for. A process of all my files there uh, and I will also because most of the time in special brands are more using the web upload so what I will do is I will pick up some of my assets here and I will just drag and drop there on my window okay it's just simply drag and drop HTML5 uploader very easy to use and I just have to upload them so some of the JPEG files now available into my folder. Uh, what you can see also is uh, on my file system there, you can view, uh, I'm able to manage a revision at the top of my file system you, based on the naming convention, which is nice. So you can see that if your files are about to be ready, so I've got my video, it's, it looks like more or less okay. So I will start perhaps with your, this, uh, this picture. So uh, before double click on this picture, uh, on the dam, of course, this is a small view, this one is very important. Um, but you can also display the information using uh, this word. And just in a couple of clicks, what I'd like to show is you can really customize your uh, invite your main workspace to filter and edit your assets and you have also the ability in fact to display two different pictures so as for example I can get so this one here and this one there uh, I can switch from one to the other it's very fast you can zoom in Okay. You can also hide the theme strip. You can select one and reject the others. Very easy to use. It's a. Uh, it's just for your game. Okay. So um, now, if I double click on this picture, what I can see is the new version of Dialog Engine 5.1. Okay. So as you can see, this. The, when I opened the file, it was pretty, pr very fast. And for this picture, I can catch some very awesome details. And as you can see, it's it's very, very fast. So, and in fact, especially for photo studio, that's a way to mark the files to manage some approvals at the top of, of their digital asset management. So such as like, I can use some here, the pencil, Okay, so each user has its own color, and I can, as for example, add text there, check uh, the sharpness. I can, okay, so you can easily move your knots. I can use the check, des check status. When I'm over a knot, it's, uh, it's highlighted here in the, in the main window, okay. So this is one way really to manage workflow of the images. One thing is important, I would say two things in fact. First of all, all the tools you can see there are linked to the profile. So of course for uh, one profile you can hide most of them. And uh, I think I've got one example. Uh, I've got one example there. This is one login with our, it's login with one of our user. And as you can see, this user has really lace uh, uh, tools uh, at the top. Really simple UI, okay? So a lot of tools there, and of course you can manage them. And the second point was the fact that this UI is responsive. So it means you can use Dialog Engine 5.1 on any tablets, any mobiles. It's, uh, it's very fast, okay? Uh, what I can see now is, uh, 
I've got some, of course, on PDF. So on PDF, you get all the pages. And of course, you can use uh, annotation at the top. So on my side, I'd like to use paragraph. If I click there, use you can uh, delete some text. Of course, I'm not deleting the text. I will send some noti email notifications, okay? And in the meantime there, what I can see for, for example, for this document, I can add and can attach uh, a file. So I can attach this file, okay? And so this file will be also part of the uh, PDF uh, annotation report. So this is for this uh, PDF. You can also view uh, this PDF using the virtual book which is very nice way, and now we have very nice new way to display the information, especially here. Uh, so we have a film strip there, just like images. And you, you can move from one to the other. You can change uh, the simulation. So uh, I remove two or several pages there. So you have a flip book and also the swipe, so it's much more easier for um, for especially for mobile, and uh, of course I've got the search. And, okay, I can also I can open Office document there also. Any any Office document, in fact. This is one of the example from uh, the Get One group, so you can uh, get the right simulation of your other print. Because Dialog is a soft proof engine viewer high definition, and as you can see, it's color accurate, and in the meantime, it is very fast. And uh, so, what can I show now? So, is some uh, I can view my uh, this packaging file, which is very interesting. Okay, as you can see, I can view my two revisions. So, uh, what I can say is. I can use a drawing tool to say that here, uh, here, and here. I'd like to add the logo of a company. Okay. Here, I'd like to add the QR code. Okay. And also the my barcode. I've got some other tools. Of course, you can as soon as you're at the top of one of the annotation, you, your this annotation is displayed on on in diary. Uh, you have the check check status, which is very useful, and especially if as for example I check the status, and then you can use filters here to view what has been checked, unchecked, or I'd like to display all of them. You have some reply toolbox there where you can, okay, understood. And in the meantime, you can set up email notifications to drive this information by mail. So, um, and at uh, we bring uh, we made some announcement. Uh, you can also collapse all the notes, which much more easier if you have a lot of annotation at the top, or you can expand them, and of course you can hide them. Okay. What I can do also, we have uh, this new tool, which is a measurement. So you can measure areas, or you can uh, you can measure uh, distance between points, and you can add annotation for that distance, as for example. At the top here, you have a lot of information, links to uh, the technical information, links to your files, all the media boxes, as for example, all the ICC information also which is also something new. You can also download any report from history to notes to document with notes. You can get a uh, full screen of your dialogue. And the last uh, tools there are more technical uh, ones. So as for example, the ability to measure the in coverage and you can change from max to GCR. You can set up the threshold. You can detect, make detection per zone. Uh, you have all the videos. This, this PDF is coming from InDesign, so I can find again all my layers. 
it's pretty much cool. Okay. One of the very interesting interesting point is of course all the channels. So just in one click, I can check all my spot colors. Okay. Or just two of them, my my gold and my white opacity. Okay. And of course to check the colors you have a densitometer. So you just have to position at the right uh, and you can set up a knot for that color. Okay, so I can hide them if I want. Uh, of course, for a packaging files, so as you can see, it's uh, it's very very fast. I can really zoom in, zoom out at any pieces of my file there. Uh, what you can uh, also do is you can rotate your files and you have more options so you can set up per angles. You can mirror. So everything, every tool is available ready to control your, uh, your packaging files. And the last one is some of the set of links of a color. And now we also introduce uh, the monitor profile uh, features. So from dialog HTML5, you can also control your screen, your devices, thanks to a new desktop application. So of course, as you can see here, we had revisions. So this is my second revision. And what I can do, of course, I can compare my two revisions. So the same technology here has uh, successful during the last 10 years, so we are able to compare pixel per pixel the two different uh, revisions. It's processed on the fly, it's very fast, and so everything is optimized to display the right information. You can also uh, compare using the overlay, or at least slide by slide. What you can also compare, you can also compare uh, the same document but with a different site. Just imagine you have a slug at the bottom and ES is able to compare, and Dialog is able to read to compare these two files. So okay, it's, uh, it's cool. So, and in fact, uh, as you can see, Dialog is very useful to, uh, especially for them, to compare uh, all your assets. Uh, one other thing is in, is nice. You can also use the clipboard to compare files, and what I can also do there, I've got two my two different uh, assets there, and for this one I'd like to compare in the external window. So this is also a cool feature. So you can compare two different pictures uh, in the same in the same uh, window. Okay. So all my files are there. Uh, of course, I've got a video. So video is also much more important now. So you can easily, of course, view the video, but you can mark up the video. So I for example, there, I'd like to add uh, uh, check the skin. I don't like the color of the skin. OK, you can adjust. Uh, the elapsed time in your uh, in your time frame. You have some enhancement in the tools to jump uh, uh, five frames to five frames. But per five frames, you can also make a selection of video and to view all of them in the, in the same window. And so you can use the uh, you can use the viewer to approve your content. Uh, for the time, one thing is so much more important here are also the metadata. So I jump to another folder, and here, as for example, I've got the ability to display all the information links to my assets. This is uh, driven by IPTC XMP information. So, uh, and so far, for example, so I add these keywords. So I will uh, say demo webinar ES5. Okay, so I can copy it, apply. And so, of course, what you can do is do the search now. 
click here and just delete the previous setup. So I can search for my assets. It's cool. But what I can also do is if I'm coming back to uh, the folder, which is simple, which is there. And if I'm using Photoshop or I can use Bridge or any software. So if I'm using Photoshop now to uh, this this was uh, this is this feature. Okay, I can open this feature in Photoshop. And now what I can do is in the IPTC layout, I can view that the keyword has been saved into a files. So this is also one new enhancement uh, in ES file. You can save the information into a file. You can also use metadata at the top of a project, of a folder. So you, you can really lay out your own custom layout of information and this layout of information now can be also applied automatically into the files. Okay? And the other thing is if you are if you make a selection now, we bring some enhancement in the data management. So as you can see here, we're able to detect the different fields of my picture, so to add or uh, to add uh, one keyword for uh, for this for the same field for two different pages. Uh, so metadata is really important. Uh, it's also important for a video. So if I take the example, uh, if I take the example of this one, okay, I've got exactly also the same information where I can display the technical video information. And I can change also and ask for a different output. Okay. So this was very important. And so uh, now, as we're speaking about metadata, I will move to uh, to the search. So the search, of course, you can search for different keywords. So I'm searching for can. So I've got a lot of pictures from Festival of Can. I can use some facet to uh, so as for example just 184 uh, JPEG files you can use also uh, you can use also folders so you can use folders and using folders is interesting in fact because if you're if I'm coming back to a view of the dam at the top of my folder you just see folder and so with with this new feature now what you can do is from the DAM here, I can view all the assets. So without that keyword, I can view all the assets of my folder, which on my side, which is more than 600. Okay, so very new enhancement. And of course, you can use the taxonomy to drive some of your search here. And to drive some uh, taxonomy here, on your files, it's just a game, so you can customize your own taxonomy here. Okay, and here just I've make uh, a selection. Uh, so it, it's not really nature; it's more uh, it's more people and the and the IPs, for example, like this. And so now you are also able to drive your content. Okay, so with this folder, you can view the interest to use the, uh, the theme strip. Here, I've got two different pictures. It's pretty much cool. And so I can really check my two different pics there. Okay, so what you can also do is, and especially for them, it's very useful, is you can make a selection of assets and ask for some user action because I'd like us, for example, to uh, to convert my files into teeth. Okay, so one example. You can also 
make a selection and ask for a contact sheet. And so what you can find there is here in my basket order, you can view my TIFF, uh, my selection in TIFF, and you can view my contact sheet available as a PDF. Okay, so very cool feature, and especially for the dam markets, it's very important to to get these kind of features. Of course, you can. What you can do is, uh, I will come back to uh, yes, to my folder there, to this one. You can also use the power of twist to uh, to make such conversions. So, as for example, from that that peak, I'd like to. I use the power of twist 8 and in fact in twist 8 we are, you can lay out such folders twist is very well known which is really the standard industry to drive all your documents but it's also useful now for the pictures because you can use the image action uh, tool to drive and as you can see the tool is awesome you have some much more uh, specifications output resize downsize upscale you can do everything you want, so you can really drive a lot of pictures. And today it's very important for brands, as for example, from one shot uh, to be able to produce multiple shots for web shops, as for example. And of course, I can find in this folder, as I said, them. So I still made some tests before, so I will delete this one. And so just keep my selection I was asking for. And I've got the same picture in different output. Okay. So this is one example using twist eight. So um, uh, one other thing on the dam is, as I told you about the smart views, but as for example, what you can also do is for another folder, you can set up a different smart view. This one is very simple one, informations, view and download. And you, and you can see all my smart view, all my smart view has changed. So, you can easily see that using uh, user rights permissions and smart view apply to a folder, you can really drive your user to the right folder to display the right content. So I talk about uh, sort of DAM store. So we have some stunning new features now available in ES5. Uh, we can do now also, and we bring some uh, enhancements, and especially in 3D. And for, for 3D, I will take the example of our uh, so um, of my label on a pack. So if I double click there, what I can view is a 3D files. I will come, I will start with the first revision. So now you can add an, a, 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 a notes at the top of your 3D files. So this one is a Colada file, so it's a ZDR. And it's, it's really amazing. You can really play with it. So and it's so much important now today, and especially for brands to uh, just before sending your files to a printer to get a view of your files in, in, into or on the shell into your store. And of course, if I'm coming back to the second revision, you can compare both of these revisions. And you can compare using the overlay. Really great. And the one more thing is the fact that now you have three D files. You have, uh, of course, you have all the support of the uh, of the PDF of images. But we bring a new enhancement link to uh, with the S five is the ability to upload your three D files into Augment. Augment, in fact, is a, a cloud platform to manage uh, all your three D files. So you have 3D there, uh, 3D files there, uploading from my ES. You can have also some trackers. And which is nice is in fact, you can also link a 3D to a tracker. So how it works in fact is, I will move for that to my mobile. So I'm using, uh, this, is my, this is my iPhone, okay, with all my files. And I will show you a uh, nice example of, so you, okay, rem you remember my, my, my pack here? 
okay so i can view so okay it's my laptop it's not there it's not a shell but so you can really rotate your 3d okay you can bring some interactions if i click there oops, i get the bottle out of my packaging and back again okay so this is one example um, what I can do, uh, oh, remember, I told you some of you were not at Drupal, so if I click there, we did exactly the same with our truck. I click on the Dalim logo, and you get a, a nice animation of a truck. Okay, I, just one more again. Come back again. You are not in the truck, it's not an issue. I'm just playing. So this was the truck, the space demo. Very nice one. And so of course what you can also do is uh, using the scans or I will take the example of our latest magazine, magazine 20. And if I'm using the scan button there and I'm use try to scan uh, one of the cover of the magazine I will get this is an ad for Airbus and so as you can see here I can play I can play with uh, the digital and the free and so you can really get a stunning view of the A3 uh, F, uh, A350 you can play with it just like as any other model okay so that's a very cool new feature that we have now um, in ES, uh, ES5 so this was some of the examples okay so we're just coming back now to my ES and so now uh, I'd like to um uh, to show something more and especially for them uh, uh, this is not there this is in Drupal folder something which is also very interesting is the ability to manage a project at the top of your dam so as for example for I can create a project at the top of my digital asset management so I will make a very simple one uh, I've got so one which is uh, yes I think this is this one yes so a very simple workflow uh, we want to approve cycle okay so now I can save so now this is a project and for that file I can view all my uh, workflow okay in the meantime every time I can set up notifications where I can view that my project has been created okay and for that file uh, I'd like also to invite my customer uh, so my customer is is my brown so it will be the approver and on my side just the gatekeeper so you have the ability to manage rules there so I can apply this new setup I've got different milestones milestone is, is a way really to uh, map your business process making you can view your user involving the approval cycle there okay so I can approve this assets is fine so now I'm starting an approval cycle the first one was just to uh, deliver the fact that uh, I'm starting my approval cycle so if I now come back to my ground I can display on the approval 
of my jobs. I can select my the different jobs for, for my customer and I can approve from that dashboard the file and I can view the progress the users involved and as soon as it has been approved I have nothing more to do so the job is done so coming back now to John I will just go to the file system. It was uh, not this one, this one. My label. I'm receiving, notif I'm receiving notifications that the job has been completed. I think it's something like that. Yes. It's okay. And now, so I can do that everything is okay. Uh, for the watermarking, uh, I've got another example there because the watermarking is also some user action that you can apply uh, as at the top of your DAM. And so this is something you can do like this or you can set up your own watermarking. So on, our, on my side, this is the DAM website. Okay. Uh, so now it's this one is done. So now I'd like to also to move and especially for them something which is very useful. We introduce a new plugin. So I've got here an InDesign document, and in this InDesign document, I've got an ex a new extensions of the Dalin Connector plugins. This uh, this plugin is available for InDesign, Illustrator, Photoshop, Mac, and Windows. And of course, it works with the same credentials. So I will just add my marketing, my journal. Okay, you can set up multiple servers. I will say okay. And so you can do exactly the same things as I'm doing with uh, in years. So I can, I will now create a new InDesign document. So I will use the plugin to search for one asset. So I'm searching for in the report folder, uh, in the magazine folder, and in the links. So here I've got a lot of assets available. And I will pick up one, just drag and drop at the top of my document. Like this, uh, I can also uh, so I get a lot of actions there available. So if I'm coming back to the home or going to a file system, I can or I can use also the search. So I'm searching. I'm searching for a bottle. So I've got some buttons there available. Okay, we add this one. It is a PNG for. Uh, Okay, so I just try to resize this button there, like this. So now I just have to save my uh, document. So this plugin is still in beta versions, but uh, it will be available as uh, it will be available as a uh, as a release uh, in the same time as ES5. And now I'd like to save my InDesign document in this folder, so I just have to upload the document in ES. Something you can also check is in the links panel, and this is important. If I click here, you can view all the metadata links to my uh, So if you click on this asset, you can view all the metadata link to that asset, and you can view that this asset is an HTTP link. In fact, based on the lower resolution, that the iRes is in yes, and the connection is made between 
these two files. So now if I'm coming back to um, in yes in the, in the Drupal folder, I think uh, okay I've got a new design document there. So we can double click on it and using dialog to view my InDesign document. This is not InDesign server, in fact just using the preview embedding into the InDesign document. So of course what I have to do now is I need to add a text. I'm not very creative for that, but just an example. And I will uh, I will add some text, some placeholder text. Okay, so I can save coming by to um, my folder and upload in the same document. So what's happening here? Yes, of course, I've got a second revision. So I can double click there. So what I can do is, oops, yes, uh, just I can compare the two revisions, and you can do the text there. So this is for InDesign. Uh, you have exactly the same for Photoshop. So. So I can use also Photoshop to uh, to use a plugin, so there, as it's available also for Photoshop. So what I have to do for Photoshop is to uh, I have to enter uh, my credential, so my login password, and this is the same as in Design. So marketing. Okay. Go to the file system. Um, go to the DAM. I've got my samples folder there. It's my picture, and I just have to drag and drop into Photoshop to uh, to view the files. I can do some retouching and upload again into uh, into Yes. So this is for the plugins, uh, new stuff, and so we've just started the beta phase uh, this week. Uh, the new thing also now, VS5, and especially for DAM, is uh, what we call the desktop. So the desktop, uh, what is the desktop? In fact, this is a way to customize your uh, the brand, uh, the, the home of your brand. So and I've got a couple examples. So. Uh, uh, as for example, I've got this one, uh, this one. So if I click there, what I can see here, it's ES5, but with something differently new. This is a responsive WebGet HTML5, so where I can uh, go through my, all my assets. I've got dialogue, I've got the search, but this is your the the portal of your brand, and in fact, you can customize anything you want. So if I'm sign out, uh, I prepared some other. Uh, so I think I've got this one. So this one is also another way to display the information. Okay, so I can browse my file system. And not this one, uh, display. So come back to uh, yes, the DAM one features from from CAN. Okay, here you have the latest uploaded picture, and everything has been customized. Very easy to use. So it was for for the desktop. We also have the uh, the connection with uh, uh, with Chile. I can browse my uh, my Chile files. So, for example, the Drupal one, uh, my pack. So just just like a file system, it will process my files, make a preview, and then after Chile is based on the on a workspace, so if you double click now, what's happening? It's not dialog, it's Chili in ES. So this is an outline editor. 
And so this is one where, where you can easily, in fact, add your logo, change your text, and all that available in yes. Okay. Uh, the last thing I'd like to, sh to show is the KPI. The KPI is so something so very useful now is this is a way in fact to uh, to provide analytics for your uh, user. So this is one example of my KPI there. I can also simplify my workspace. So you can do your uh, as you can see that as for example a free uh, user are connected to my system I can view the different uh, user I've got one connecting uh, with my customer two user connected with on Dalin demo here I can view all the files or so I've got images I've got text uh, uh, I've got images I've got uh, video files I can view also uh, all the logins during the last month Okay, so of course it's dynamic, so I can do doing just this week. So ES5 is based on a new engine, which is uh, Elasticsearch, and we are using Kibana to provide such analytics. So you can really customize your own dashboard, and you can, in Kibana, set up any kind of metadata of ES. So it was so much more important now to provide, and you can provide awesome analytics too. To your customer. So, this was a long demo, but mainly you can view a lot of things. Um, something perhaps I'd like also to uh, highlight is the fact that you can also, uh, yes, you can easily publish on the CMS. And so, what I wanted to do is a very simple things. If I'm logging back to my ES, so in the DAM, uh, on, I dedicated one folder for my web there. And here you can view, yes, I've got one. I'd like to publish this banner, so how I can do it. So now it's in version 4, but you can easily publish any assets uh, from ES uh, using SOAR. A download link so you can now really uh, build your own private cloud you can use the view so you get dialer so on my side I'd like to get the viewer and likes I'd like to set a point date so uh, as I'm using in my demo I'd like to, uh, to get a long one okay you can provide a description you can add some user and so then you'll get so uh, a link provided so it will open my mail again And here, this is the link provided, okay? And so if I'm coming back now to uh, the WordPress there, so this is the, uh, the admin of my WordPress. Remember what I've got there, okay? So what I will do, I will edit the banner, and I will add my banner there using the URL from ES5 very easy to use. I can customize your array to get the download link so I can insert. So the only thing I need to do is because the size is too big, uh, I will use or um, I can divide by two or so, um, I guess, and so I can update. And now, of course, my website has changed. If, and if I'm clean here, I'm delivering a file. So you can do exactly the same to, uh, as for example, to, uh, to show your magazine. So this is our magazine 20. So if I can click there, I can view all the magazine 20. And you can find this magazine on our our dating website. We have all the table of contents, so you can move from 
one article to the other. You can also use some uh, approval at the top. And of course, you can do some search. So if I'm searching for engine, as for example, you'll get a finger just to display where it is. And you have got all the information there where the, here is the keyword. So as I talk about uh, Dialog Engine 5.1, of course, using the Dialog SDK, you, yeah, you will get the same information. So login to uh, this example, this is a PHP portal, double click there, and you have exactly the same. Okay, so this is uh, the end for my, for my demo, so I move back to my keynote there. So uh, just in the short slides, what we covered. So uh, of course, ES5 unveiled, and the official release will really certainly available during September. The ability to customize any custom web get. This is definitely ES5 uh, DAM system, and uh, reference in the DAM system, easy to use easy to customize anything, just like uh, for photo studio, theme strip, nice view, easy to filter based on the metadata. New, dash, new dashboard to uh, follow your project. The Chili Publisher integration, as we saw. We, I do not uh, uh, demonstrate this one, but we have also now a uh, connector to RQRP files. This is one uh, very great way to archive your assets and to restore its assets back into ES after. So the CC connector, as we saw, available for InDesign, Photoshop, Illustrator, Windows 10, Windows 8, and any macOS version from uh, Snow Leopard, Yosemite, and El Capitan. And this plugin is compatible for uh, CC 2015. And some screenshot of these plugins the HTTP links for assets. Uh, the new 3D visualizer, so this is a very a great way to uh, annotate, mark up your files and compare your 3D files. The desktop, which is definitely the home of the brand, easy to customize, responsive design, great stuff. So you can figure out such web portal. The CMS is always uh, at the top by some brands. And we saw that it was easy to publish any assets into CMS. Of course, the KPI, because uh, user analytics are so much more important for uh, any user today. For dialog, we saw so a lot of things, or so, um, new stunning feature, responsive designs, so or you can use dialog in uh, on your iPad, as for example. Uh, we have some new features, just like the attachment of notes, uh, the color uh, currency and especially now the ability to drive uh, to drive to monitor your uh, the profile of your uh, of your screen. On Twist 8, we saw an example of the Ajax tool, uh, very useful today to drive thousands of conversions of assets per hour. You can also manage a publication just as we saw with the magazine 20. You can now also convert uh, a lot of input format free files into, and especially Colada. We also, and with Twist, I to introduce a new PDF Lite application, and this application available for Windows and OS X is a great application. So, to uh, in fact reduce the size and to keep the quality. So you can go to this website and please use it, share it, and uh, give us. Uh, your feedback. So uh, just to end up this session and this webinar, so the latest events are uh, up to the end of this year. Uh, since last year, um, we are participating to the DAM RST World event, which is an organization to uh, to gather all the DAM vendors of the market, all the main DAM vendors. And this year, we are sponsored. We are sponsored in New York. We are a sponsor in London. So we are not. Dialing is the main actor in this industry, and so will be available 
and I'll be available also in Chicago in September. So if you get the time, if you're in Chicago, please visit us. Uh, before the end of this year, we'll get a pack another packaging event, which is all for pack, the, which is the old Salon d'Emballage in Paris. And of course, I will say something you can't miss. This is a worldwide technical meeting. So if you really want to be close to our engineers, if you want to give your feedback, if you want to uh, make things happening, this is the place to be. So please go to our website and register. So thank you so much for your attention. So as usual, I will drive uh, to this website, of course, the main website of Dalim. But you have also some landing pages like the dam landing page or the brown landing page or the soft proof landing page. I'm sure you can find uh, awesome stuff, videos, pictures, articles, study cases, and provide you the right information. So uh, thank you so much. And of course, if you have any questions,